tilted it too far. There, there you go. There. Thank you. Lucas is helping me. Hopefully this works. I don't know. This is a good one. I got this kind of for May because she has an otter baby. So this one's called Otter Loves Halloween by Sam Garten. Otter loves Halloween. Halloween is the best holiday ever. Teddy and I have been waiting a very long time for Halloween. There were lots of things we had to get ready for. So Otter, he's got a little Teddy. First, Otter Keeper took us pumpkin shopping. But Otter Keeper is not very good at choosing pumpkins. Teddy and I found the right one eventually. It was very big, so we had to promise we'd help carry it back. Are they helping? Hmm. When we got home, Otter Keeper ran into a few problems carving our pumpkin. I told Giraffe to help because Teddy and I had to start decorating the house. Giraffe's got his hard hat on. He's helping. Teddy and Otter are decorating the house. Some cool little lights and strings. We did decorate a few things we shouldn't have, but overall, we did a good job. Finally, I had to organize everyone's Halloween costumes. I dressed up as a super scary witch. I couldn't get my magical broomstick to work, but I looked really scary, so that didn't matter. Teddy decided to dress up as a scary mummy. We both agreed he looked almost as scary as I did. He wrapped him up in toilet paper. Giraffe wanted to dress up for Halloween, too, but... I wasn't sure about his costume. Otter Keeper said you can dress up as whatever you want on Halloween. So, Giraffe was a fairy. He wasn't really taking Halloween seriously. Everyone knows fairies aren't scary. So, I added some teeth. We spent the rest of the afternoon practicing with our costumes by scaring Pig. Teddy and I were very good at this. Giraffe was not, but it was his fault for dressing up as an unscary fairy. Poor Pig, getting scared. Finally, the doorbell rang. The trick-or-treaters were here at last. Ding dong. It was then that we ran into a problem. The trick-or-treaters were very scary, almost too scary. Oh, poor Otter got scared. I suddenly remembered I had lots of important things to do under the bed upstairs. I took Pig with me, too. He was really scared. I was worried Halloween had been ruined, but then Otter Keeper had a little chat with us. We both felt a lot better. Then, Otter Keeper had a clever idea. I was even allowed to help. Ding dong! When the next trick-or-treaters arrived, we were ready for them. Mm -hmm. They put on scary masks. Our new costumes worked perfectly. These trick-or-treaters sounded even scarier than the ones before, but things are much less scary when you can't really see them. Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! This was definitely the best Halloween ever. Until the trick-or-treaters stopped coming. Otter Keeper told me they all had to go home because it was almost bedtime. But I wasn't tired at all. So I made special costumes for everyone. It's a good thing we finished when we did. Oh, 
it was way past pig's bedtime. Hmm. <laughs> they all went to sleep. Otter loves Halloween. Love you.